Hello designing star! In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a box pleated skirt in closed 3D using clear step-by-step -step instruction. We'll cover everything from creating the skirt pattern and applying the pleats fold to using the pleats sewing tool. I will also show you how to apply the fabric and adjust the particle distance to achieve a realistic look. To create a box pleated skirt, I will go to the rectangle tool, click on it to select, then click one on the page, and I'm going to type in 15, and press on the tab key, then I'm going to type in 4, and come down here, number or shape, I will change that to 2, then click on OK. Next, I will use this transform pattern tool, click on this fabric to select, then hover the mouse on there, click drag it down, right click, and I'm going to type in the height to be 46, then click on OK. Next, I will create 5 internal lines on this fabric. Simply switch the tool to Edit Pattern tool. Click one right here, press on Shift, right click, and we want to select Distribute internal line between segments. And I'm going to type in 5 and click on OK. After that, I will come over here to the Property Editor and then turn on this full rendering and come back here. Hover the mouse over the internal line, right click, and I'm going to select Extend Slash Trim and Add Point to Pattern Outline. After that, we want to make two more copies. Simply switch the tool to Transform Pattern Tool, my key select, and then Command or Control plus letter C, and then Command or Control plus letter V, and I'm going to press on Shift, click one to place. Now Command or Control plus letter D. Once again, press on Shift and then click one to place the pattern. Next, we want to merge them together. Select this Edit Pattern tool, click one right here, right click, and then select Merge. I will merge this as well. Simply click one and then press on Shift, click on this line right here, right click, and then select on Merge. Next, we want to add two more internal lines onto this pattern. I will click one on a page to deselect, and right here, I'm going to use the internal line tool here, click on it, and then select internal polygon slash line tool, click one right there, and then I'm going to click toy to end, do the same right here, click one, and then click toy. Next, I'm going to come over here and do the reset pattern here. Next, we want to unfold both of the waistband and the pattern. I'm going to select both of these lines here, right click, and then select unfold. After that, I will remove this point here, and then I'm going to add another internal line right here. Now I'm going to lock all pattern outline. Then I'm going to apply the full render one more time onto these internal lines here. Simply uncheck and then check once again to apply the full rendering. Now I'm going to right click and then unlock all pattern outline. Next, we want to apply the split fold. To do so, I will come over here to the split tool, click on it, and select the split fold. Simply click one to start and then click toy. I'm going to select this box pleated and change this number of internal lines to 3 and full angle 0 to 360, perfect. I'm going to click on OK. After that, I will use this split sewing tool, then click here to start, then click here, to click one right here, and then continue hover the mouse to the right then click once again to end. After that, I'm going to switch the tool to transform pattern tool and my key selects all the pattern pieces. Command or control plus letter C, command or control plus letter V, and then I'm going to press on shift left click to place the pattern. After that, I will come over here and then click on the reset 2D arrangement all. Next, we will place the pattern onto the avatar. I will come over here to this avatar and click on it and then select the show or high arrangement point. I'm going to my key, select the pattern pieces, then hover the mouse over the avatar, click one to place, then come to the property editor and then I want to change this to flat. I will do the same here. My key selects all these pattern pieces and press on number 8 for the back view and click one right here to place the pattern and also change this to flat. And I'm going to press on number 2 to see the front view. Next, I'm going to my key, select all these pattern pieces, right click and then select strengthen. Now we are going to finish sewing the skirt. I will use this segment sewing tool and then sew the waistband as well as right here. So I will sew the entire skirt later. Right now I'm going to sew only the waistband and I'm going to come over here and then click on the simulation button right here to simulate. Next, I'm going to Simply my key selects all the pattern pieces and drag it up a little. Then I'm going to press on the simulation one more time. And after that, I'm going to finish sewing the side seam. 
simply go to the segment sewing tool click right here right here and over here and over here and i'm going to simulate one more time to take the effects then i'm going to come over here and turn on this quality rendering to see the skirt silhouette and i'm going to unstrengthen press on the spacebar once again to simulate next we will do a few more things here to improve the skirt one of them we will apply the fabric as well as changing the particle distance to do so i'm going to come over here to fabric folder click on that fabric folder and then type in wool then i'm going to select the wool cashmere click drag and drop onto this fabric then i'm going to change the color simply click on that fabric and then scroll down here i'm going to turn on the saturation first and then come down here and click on this color and let's change it to somewhat next i'm going to click on apply and close next we want to change the particle distance to seven my key selects all the pattern pieces and then come over here to the property editor and i'm going to change the particle distance to seven and then press on return and enter on the keyboard then simulate one more time to see the effects stop the simulation so as you can see right here we have this hole here i'm going to change the sewing here so go to edit sewing tool i'm going to change the sewing to custom sewing my key selects all the sewing then go to property editor and then change that to custom then i'm going to change full strength to zero as well as full angle after that i'm going to simulate one more time to see the effects and there it is okay there you have a design star i hope you guys found the video helpful and remember to follow me on encoder fashion for more awesome videos like this thanks for watching guys